Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new junk journal spread to share with you. So in this video I'm using two different pieces from Tinchika Designs. I'm using her um, black, grey and white paper pad and also her Vintage Ladies printables as well. These work really, really nicely together. Um, so you can see um, the pages that I want to work on on my journal and on the left side I have a page from a children's storybook that I wanted to cover up because that wasn't really um, going to work with my plan for the page. So I've taken one of the um, grey papers from the printable papers from Tinchika Designs and I uh, wanted to add some modelling paste with um, through a rose stencil um, but I didn't just want it to be white, I wanted to add um, some pink elements to this page. So I used my Paper Artsy Infusions in Raspberry and just mixed that in with the texture paste and um, passed that through the stencil. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice way to add some colour to the page. I've then taken that same Paper Artsy Infusion colour and um, used some water um, and then just added splatters of that all over the right hand page. Um, and I accidentally closed my book so some of it got on the left hand page but it doesn't matter because I'm covering that up anyway. So once that paper is dry that I did the um, texture paste on I'm going to stick that over the storybook paper and just trim that down. Um, and I had this strip that was left over from the um, from the paper when I trimmed it down so I thought I would that add that onto the right hand side as well so I just stick that um, just uh, towards the centre of the right hand side um, and I really like how this looks with the um, vintage paper that I've got on the right hand side I think that works really well um, but also that paper is really really old and fragile so um, adding an extra paper layer just encourages it to um, not tear or anything because um, it's weakest um, at the spine so yeah I didn't want that to rip or anything so that helped with that and I'm also going to work on the other side of the vintage um, book paper so I again I wanted to make that a little bit more sturdy but I also wanted to add some more of the um, pattern paper so I'm just um, going to collage some um, a ripped strip of the pattern paper onto um, that page on the back of that page and I'm just using gel matte medium to stick that down and yeah like I said it um, gives it some extra strength as well as I like the way it looks. Um, I've then taken some washi tapes, I like to use these to sort of border my pages in my junk journals um, and again it adds strength to um, any weak points of the page um, so yeah I've just collaged a couple of them onto that page as well again using gel matte medium i've then got one of the pieces from the vintage ladies printable and i just added a little quote and it says behind every strong woman is a tribe of other strong women who have her back and i really liked that quote i just found that on pinterest um, because in this spread i'm journaling about all of my favorite ladies in my life um, so yeah, I just wrote that out on one of the journaling cards from the Vintage Ladies printable and then I've added some lace down the right hand side of that just using some double sided tape because I will go and sew over, over that later on and then I go to back that onto some pink pattern paper just to tie in the other pink elements that I've got on this page. I then wanted to decorate the journal card a little bit more and I've got these um, stickers from AliExpress and they're sort of Victorian style, um, sort of grungy, there's some pink tones and there's some um, women's stickers and yeah I just thought this would work really well with the black and white and the pink that's um, already on the page. 
that's already on my pages so I'm just going to pick out a couple of stickers to add on the front and back of this journaling card. So now that my pages are dry, I'm going to um, add some of the same washi tape onto the two pages um, that I did before, just to tie them in with the page behind it. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just collaging them over the page using that gel medium once again. And then I'll let that dry and then um, you can see that I've sewn along my journaling card. I also inked around the edge with black soot distress ink. Um, and then I'm going to add that to my page. So I'm just trimming all of the washi tape that hung over um, the pages and um, I've done it so that it's like sort of a flip out. Um, so on the other side, I thought I would add a photo and I have this black and white photo of my mum that I wanted to add. And I've seen people before, so they sort of cut out the person in the photo. Um, I think it's, I've only really seen it on scrapbook pages. And I really really like how it looks but I was a bit, I don't know, I was a bit worried to try that myself in case it didn't work and I ruined the photo. So I thought as I'm just working in my junk journal I would give it a go because if it didn't turn out perfectly it doesn't matter. My junk journal um, is much more messy and I'm not so worried about how everything looks. So yeah I thought I'd give it a go and I actually really like how it ended up looking so there's definitely something that I want to try again. Um, so yeah, I've stuck that on the back side of the tip-in, the journaling card, and I'm going to, um, the, it looks sort of like she was floating, so I'm going to add another sticker just to hide sort of the bottom of her so she's not just floating randomly in midair. and I really, really like how this looks. I think because the photo is black and white as well, it just works well to me. I really like how it looks anyway. So yeah, that's definitely a technique that I can use again. Um, so I'm going to stick down my um, floral stickers to this the back side of this journaling card and then I will add it to my journal and I just use one of the washi tapes that I added before. So as I said earlier, I'm journaling about my favourite ladies today, but I've also got that extra page um, on the the back side of the vintage page that I wanted to work on. Um, so as that wasn't really together with the previous pages, I thought I would um, use that to document this photo. So this photo is a few months apart, I can't remember, it's between... Um, July and December of 2019 and I had been on a diet and lost two stones so um, I really wanted to document this 
It's quite funny now because I am currently quite pregnant and <laughs> uh, seems a bit of a waste losing all that weight right now, but I'm sure I will manage to do it again. Um, but yeah, I was really proud of myself for doing this. I didn't need to lose loads of weight, but um, I just wasn't really feeling overly comfortable with myself and wanted to lose a bit. And yeah, I was really, really proud. So I thought I would document that on the back side of the vintage page. Um, and I've just used elements that I'm using on these two main pages, so the washi tapes, the stickers, um, just so they're sort of tied in, but it doesn't matter that they don't go together. I hope I'm making sense. Um, I'm finding it really hard to explain everything with baby brain at the minute, so I'm sorry if <laughs> I repeat myself or if I don't make sense sometimes, I'm trying. Um, but yeah, so I'm now just going to go through all of my photos that I've got for um, the spread of my favorite ladies and I'm just backing them on various um, papers mostly the printable papers from Dinjika Designs but also some of the journal cards from her vintage lady um, collection as well um, and yeah I think I just ink all of the edges with black soot distress ink as well I've also got these really cool um, vellum pieces I used one on the weight loss page and I've got I think I used one or two on this page um, and they're sort of black and white frames printed on vellum um, and they, they're printed on like little squares so I've just been fussy cutting them out and adding them either as a label or just as a design element and I really really like how they look they go really well with this sort of Victorian grungy style of these pages so um, yeah they're really pretty I really liked them and they're, they're subtle at the same time they don't sort of overpower any of the images that I've got or anything like that so I was really pleased with those as well So to go with the roses and vintage theme that I've got going on, I thought the um, my die cuts from Tim Holtz would be perfect for this. So I'm going through and adding some of the pink toned floral die cuts, um, adding them um, over all three of my pages. Um, I really like how these look with the black and white elements as well. I think this worked perfectly. And once I've got these stuck down, that is my page all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you very much for being here. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.